Growing frustration and outrage tonight over the gun violence plaguing parts of Oakland. And that fear over a slew of shootings just this week is palpable for both business owners and locals, all of which are demanding change. As NBC Bears show heard found out, that change may not come fast enough for the victims of gunfire. We do have to warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. You are now looking at surveillance video showing a car full of people firing at a crowd of customers standing in front of this market on 31st and Telegraph on Monday. Two men are now dead. One of them, Bilal Essa. We spoke tonight with Musa Kamara, his friend of 20 years, who says gun violence in Oakland is out of control. An innocent bystander just got murdered for no apparent reason. I mean, how do you explain that to his family? From downtown Oakland to the Fruitvale District, capturing shootings on video is not unusual. The Constitution is stay over there for more than 10 years, 24-7. Every day is like, like 10 or uh, uh, 20 layers. This man, who doesn't want to be identified, says prostitution, shootings and killings are the norm and police are doing little to stop it. Right now, we're 100 police officers short in Oakland. Council member Noel Gallo. This is where the State Department uh, has to step up. And, uh, and at the end of the day, having the law enforcement from the BART, the housing authority, the sheriff, the uh, you name it. They're here on our streets, but we need to work together to bring about the change. When is enough going to be enough? Attorney General Rob Bonta was in San Francisco today to announce the launching of a brand new statewide office that will focus on gun violence prevention. This new office will examine a broad range of factors to prevent gun violence from firearm availability to effective resources for crisis prevention. Former city council member who is now running for mayor, Ignacio de la Fuente, says Oakland needs to set a different tone to bring safety back to the city. By now, uh, we have the tools, except that we're not using them, and except that we're not enforcing any other any other laws and the rules that we have. So people obviously believe that they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, so we have to change that. In Oakland, Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.